Hi guys, welcome back to the channel today. It is going to be um, another episode of the World Cup series. And as you can tell by the title, it is going to be me reacting to my predictions. So I've got them uh, written down on a piece of paper here. I've got my predictions and I've got what happened, what results were in real life. So um, I might show pictures, I don't know. But if I do, then if I do show pictures, then obviously I'm going to show pictures. If I don't, I don't. So, um, obviously, we're gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through, my, I've wrote it down um, here, excuse my handwriting, it's, I just wrote it down quickly. But, um, so, obviously, um, if you watch my prediction video, you'll, um, you will you might have an idea of the predictions I did. But, as you can tell by the title, I had a howler. Um, I got one, I predicted one correctly, and that was the one which everyone, I think most people got correct. So let's just dive right into it. So, Group A, I said Netherlands and Senegal. Oh, so obviously, when I did the predictor on the EA Sports website, on the EA website, you could only um, or EA Sports, same thing. But you could you could only predict the top two because obviously third and fourth it doesn't mean anything. So I said Netherlands and Senegal, and obviously it wasn't Netherlands and Senegal, which was the only one I got right. Um, and the rest, I didn't have total howlers. But I just didn't get them. I just didn't get them right. Um, um, honestly, Netherlands they played fantastic. Cody Gapko was on fire. Um, Senegal did really well as well without Manny. Um, also, I want to quickly apologise. I thought Son was injured. Son was not injured um, for South Korea. So apologies when I if, when I said that in my predictions video. Um, I didn't even realise. I just heard from someone that Son had been injured, and I just took their word for it when I shouldn't have. So, massive apologies. Son obviously is in the squad, and he's done very well for South Korea. Um, I do think Netherlands and Senegal are the right, are the fair teams to go through, and I think a lot of people said that at the start. Who did their predictions at the start of the World Cup? They said that Netherlands and Senegal would go through. They're the best two teams in the group, and the best two teams they go through. Um, moving on to Group B, I said England and Iran. I said England to top the group, and I said Iran to come second. England did indeed top the group, but it was not Iran. It was the USA who came second. The USA were absolutely outstanding in the World Cup group stages. They were unlucky not to beat Wales. They were so unlucky not to score against England, and they did play well against Iran. So the USA, fair play to them. They've played absolutely fantastic in the World Cup. They're playing Netherlands uh, today. I'm currently recording this at, um, I don't know if there's a little clock here. I don't know if it's an hour behind, an hour in front, but it says 12.11 on this clock. So I don't know if it is 12.11 or it's 11.11. I think, no, I think it's 12.11. Um, so, um, obviously at three o'clock is when Netherlands, uh, USA kicks off and then it's, um, Argentina, Australia next. Um, Obviously, um, England they were very poor against USA. I must say, I, I honestly thought watching it, I'm like, come on, as a as a Scottish person, I was begging for the States to win, and they were so unlucky not to. Um, obviously, to be honest, England did play well against uh, Wales, but Wales were really poor in this World Cup, and um, they did play well against Iran. Obviously, they beat them six two. So in the end, I do think that was the, that the, they were. The two teams who went through were, they were the right two teams who should have gone through. Um, so for group C, I said Argentina to top the group and I said Mexico to come second. I got that right apart from it. Mexico did not come second. Poland came second. Um, obviously at the start of the group, first game, um, of the world, of the group stage in that, um, in that group was Argentina, Saudi Arabia and I was at school and then I was just in PE. And then, um, my mates checked their phone and said, oh my, cause, um, we found out Messi scored a penalty. And then my mates checked my phone and said, oh my God, Saudi Arabia won 2 1. And the whole change room was in shock. Um, because honestly, it was just mental. Like, when I heard that, I was like, how on earth have Saudi Arabia done this? When Argentina scored first, I was, oh, uh, do you know what? Argentina are going to score 3-4. And I wanted Argentina to do that because I want Messi to win the World Cup. And I do think Argentina win the World Cup. And there was a lot of doubt on Argentina after they lost that first game. Oh, could they still, can they still get out of the group? Can they maybe like come second? But they still topped the group. They beat Argent, they beat Poland and Mexico. And they were the fair, um, winner, top, fair team to top the group. Mexico and Poland. Um, I think it was, I can't remember how close it was, but, 
I think uh, Poland got through on yellow cards um, and like gold scored or something. Honestly, some of the World Cup has, it's been really tight. Um, and like in terms of like um, Uruguay and South Korea getting through um, and all that, it's been very close um, in between. Like it's been very close on it in terms of who goes through and like joint team teams on joint points and all that. But honestly, I do think that was the fair result. Mexico were so unlucky, but um, I think well, they've always got twenty twenty six, and obviously they have the Copa America to do well in. So moving on to Group D, um, Denmark. I said um, Denmark to top the group, and I said France to come second. Um, I didn't think France would top the group because obviously I didn't. I mean, I didn't. I full belief in Denmark to top the group because Denmark have been playing amazing. They obviously got to the Euro semi final, and it was it's been up for it's been uphill for Denmark from there, and it's bit unfortunately they actually they have gone downhill because the um what actually happened was France top the group, and Australia came second, which I don't think I mean a few people might have seen coming, but I certainly did not see Argentina getting second. Fair play to the Aussies. Um, obviously they're playing Argentina today. I mean, if Saudi Arabia can beat Australia, uh, can beat Argentina. Who knows? Um, Australia could beat them. I do think it will be an Argentina win, though. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna do a, a round of sixteen predictions video. I'll just do a reaction to all the round of sixteen fixtures. Um, I'm not gonna bother. I might look at the end of the World Cup. I'll look from the round of sixteen onwards and see how close I got in terms of fixtures. Also, I'm doing the group stages now because I just wanted to do it. It was only really video, only video I could really think of to make it in the World Cup series. Um, obviously, Australia did do really well. Fair play to them, and honestly, I do think they'll get beat by Argentina. But you know what? I'm very happy for them for them to get into the round of 16. Group E. Now, this is where I got it uh, quite wrong. Um, I did say Spain would come second, and Spain did come second. But I said Germany would top the group, and that was far from what happened. S Japan topped the group, and honestly, fair play to Japan. I think... Obviously, the VR um, issue. Uh, I don't know the full story, but I don't know if Spain are, were robbed or not. But Japan, if Spain were robbed, then Japan did get lucky. But honestly, Japan were outstanding in this World Cup. They beat Japan. They beat Germany two one. Obviously, they got beat by Costa Rica. I thought, okay, maybe they'll get beat by Spain, but no, they beat Spain. And they obviously when Murata Murata has been done really well in this World Cup. Fair play to him. Did he score against? I don't. I must. I don't think he scored against um, Germany uh, against uh, Costa Rica. Um, obviously, Spain won seven 0 against Costa Rica. I feel bad for Costa Rica. They they did, obviously they did get three points against Japan, but they did get kind of pummeled in their other two games against two very good teams. So that's a double World Cup exit for Germany. Obviously, they got hit by the World Cup curse last year, and the um. Well, I mean, they didn't get... I mean, there's not really... A, the, the curse is you win the World Cup, you get knocked out in the, the group stages in the next tournament. Obviously, they didn't get... They got knocked out from the group stages again. It's just really... I'm mind-blown. I generally thought Germany and Spain would go through. I mean, it could have been Spain-Germany, it could have been Germany-Spain, but it ended up being Japan-Spain who go through. Um, so, I'm, I'm, it's really good to see these wee teams, like, go, um, getting out to Japan... Since the 2018 World Cup, have been growing and growing in the football world, and to top their group with Spain and Germany in it, fair play to Japan. They deserve a huge pat on the back, and even if they get knocked out in the round of 16, it's still a massive achievement that they topped the group against such a good Spain team and against such a good Germany squad. So. We'll move on to Group F next, where I got um, quite wrong again. I said Croatia to top the group, and I said Belgium to come second. Morocco topped the group, which I don't think anyone saw coming. Um, Morocco played absolutely outstanding in this World Cup. They be, they keep they kept a clean sheet against Belgium and won two 0 So a massive um, fair play to Morocco. Um, I think that they get beat by wait they're on they were on seven points. So they must have do the math here, Kian. They must have won. I can't remember who they, who they beat. Was it um? Who else was in the group? Who else was in the group? Morocco, Belgium. Oh God. Was it 
Who was else was in the? Oh my goodness. Oh Jesus. Um. Oh no, I'm gonna spend the rest of the video thinking about it. I know. Croatia, Belgium, Morocco. Oh no. What was it? What was it? Oh, you're kidding me. Croatia, please. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna have to. Nah, I should know this, man. I'm gonna have to check. Like, I'm gonna. I'll put it up now. But I actually can't remember. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna move on and see if it comes to me. Um, uh, I think it was Belgium really poor in this World Cup. Um, so honestly, they're gonna have to really have a long, hard think about that because for them not to get out of the group which they were expected to get out of, that's really poor from them. Um, so we'll move on to Group G now, which I did get wrong. Um, I said Brazil to top the group, which they did, and I said Serbia to come second, but instead of Serbia, Serbia. Instead of Serbia, it was Switzerland. Now, I, but was it Serbia and Switzerland were in the same group um, last year in the 2018 World Cup as well? I think they must have been with Brazil. Um, I must say, yeah, um, Brazil, I mean, obviously got beat by Cameroon yesterday. But, I mean, they just they didn't have, they gave Martinelli a start because I don't think they really, they didn't really need to um, try that hard because they're already through. They beat Serbia and Switzerland. Um, so obviously Serbia Switzerland was a good game uh, yesterday but um, yeah obviously I did get that right but also I got it wrong and then we'll move on to the final group which was Group F I said Portugal to top the group which they did and I said Uruguay to come second but it was not Uruguay to come second it was South Korea who beat Portugal 2-1 yesterday and obviously um, Ghana got beat 2-0 by Uruguay but it wasn't enough because um South Korea went through on goal scored. South Korea, it's so good to see these wee teams like Australia, um, USA. I mean, USA aren't really a wee team. Like, USA, oh, no, sorry, no. And, um, like, see these teams go through, like, Australia, um, Japan, Morocco, South Korea. It's actually brilliant to see. Because instead of the best teams, it's the, little, the wee teams as well who are through. But, um, honestly, that is going to be it for today's video um i actually could not be um more happy proud to watch this world cup because honestly this world cup has brought so many highs so many lows for so many teams but so many surprises upsets excitement it's just been a fantastic world cup a lot of people help were um criticizing the world cup um saying oh it won't be as exciting as usual as f uh, previous world cups well They've been proven wrong as as long as the as long as it continues. Like if USA beat um, Netherlands, if Japan gets through to the quarters, if South Korea gets to the quarters, it'd be fantastic. But that is going to be it for today's episode of the World Cup series. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please do like and subscribe. I'll see you soon for the next video on my channel. I don't